I saw you, you were just a baby. Tony! My, you've grown. You're just about big enough to help Uncle Eric on the farm. Oh, Troy. Good lad. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to start today. Well, take your bags into your room. You don't mind sharing the same room, do you? No. no. I'm just going to milk the Duchess. Would you like to come along and watch? What's the Duchess? Oh, good lad. You'd like to feed the lamb, Suey. Hey, Suey, look! <laughs> <laughs> do you do the dishes for Mum at home? Sometimes. Perhaps you can do the dishes for me. Sometimes. But not tonight. Time for bed now. School tomorrow. How do we get there? Well, I'll take you down in the pickup the uh, first day. But after that, it's the same as everyone else, on horseback. Do we have to learn to ride horses? We have a couple of nice, quiet ponies for you, and we'll teach you after school tomorrow. Now, come on, bed. Tony! What? What was that? I don't know. Do you think it's a monster? There's no such thing. Is so? Is not now. Go to sleep. I saw one today. You did not. Where? In the bushes beside the road when we were on the truck. I didn't see it. You were too busy talking to Uncle Eric, but I saw it. You did not. There's no such thing now. Go to sleep. Okay. 
G'day. G'day. Well, you think people would keep their dogs chained up at night? Look at it. Three of my best ewes. Is it a pack? No, nah, there's just one of them by the look of the tracks. Mind you, he's doing enough damage to be a monster. <laughs> Got two of Charlie Bells last week. That's the second night in a row for me. You should have been out waiting for it. Once they get a taste for blood, they don't leave off. Nah, don't you worry. I'll be out tonight, and I'll have my gun. Well, I hope you get him. Let me know how you get on. Yeah, right. Did a monster really do it? A dog by the looks, or maybe several dogs. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. Most people keep them chained up at night. How do you stop them? With a bullet. It's the only way. Don't come in. Mr. Newman's expecting you anyway. Hello. All right, see ya. Righto, you lot. Sit down. Come on, Suey. You must be Sue and Tony. Well, I'm Newman. Now, I have been called Pooman, but don't let me hear you say it. <laughs> you come forward, Tony and Sue, please. Come on. I think you better stand up here so all the kids can see you. Up you go, Tony. Up you go, Sue. Everybody calls me Suey. Okay, Suey. Now, kids, Tony and Suey are from the city. Now, they don't know much about country life, and they'll be staying with us for a few weeks. Now, I expect you all to help them out if they have any problems, okay? Right. Time for introductions. Andrea, will you stand up, Andrea, please? And that's Andrea. And Colin, we call him Pickle most of the time. Sit down, Pickle. <laughs> Julie. Juliet. Would you stand up, Juliet? Sit down, Juliet. Stephanie. Dean. Tommy. Andrew at the back there. Megan. And Harvey. Kepanui. You'll get used to Harvey Kepanui's bad manners in time. Well, I was going to do some maths with you today. But I think we'll do some drawing instead. Yay! All right, all right, settle down. Right, would you put your bags in the cloakroom? And when you come back, you can sit over there. Okay, off you go. Harvey, would you hand out the crayons and papers, please? Thank you. Yes, that's very good indeed, Suey. Yeah, who'd want to live there? Lots of people, that's why there's so many houses. Yeah, there is, there's so many houses. What a proper brain. <laughs> Doesn't know what he's talking about. Search up for in red scats. <laughs> Kepanui, come on. But, sir, Fred's a friend of mine. Sit down, Kepanui. Okay. It's true, sir, so's rat's guts. 
And Fred will sit rat's guts onto any of my enemies if I say so. Now listen to me. You keep away from Fred, and that means all of you. You too, Kepanui. He stinks, sir. That's why he's called Rotten Fred. That's enough. Might have said he's crazy, sir. Now listen to me, all of you. You just stay away from him, do you hear? He's not like other people. He's a bit touched. And if you go sneaking around and annoying him, he just might lose his temper. And then you never know what he might do. So just leave him alone. What's wrong with him, sir? He just doesn't like people, that's all. Yeah, and he hates strangers most of all. Don't know how. Can't you ride a horse? <laughs> Townie kids can't ride horses. I bet you I know why. Why? Because they're scared. I am not. Scaredy cat, scaredy cat. Townie kids don't know how to ride a horse because they're too scared. Leave him alone, Harvey Kippenuri. You're a bully. You shut up, Andrew and Marks, or I'll kick you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Townie, come and pet my horse. Come on, pet him on the nose, four eyes. Scary <laughs> <laughs> cat, scary cat, scary cat. You cut that out, Harvey. I'll tell Mr. Newman. Newman the Pooman. Who's scared of him? <laughs> Here, come on. Um, cut that out. Come on, Julie. Away home, love. Kepanui, away you go home. Go on. I've told you before. Anyway, teachers, Peter, I can set rat's guts onto you. Come on, let's get out of here. Where you going, kid? Come, Come on, on, I've got you. Come on, where you go? Come on, Suey. Hurry up. I want to go home. You can't. I want to go home now. Zoe! Zoe, come back. You'll get lost. Zoe! A little fool. What do you think you're doing, eh? Get away from here. Go on. Zoe! Zoe! Zoe, there's the wild man. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. I want to go home. I want to go home and see Mel. Suey! What? Listen, Suey. If we can learn to ride those horses, we can get away from anybody. No, I don't want to. Please, Suey, let's just learn to ride those horses. All right. Okay. Right. Be with you in a minute, Suey. Now, go on. Yeah, off you go. Get out, you stupid horse. Get me up. Please get me up. <laughs> You're not very getting getting very far, are you? Go on, just give her a kick. That's it. Go on. Catch her, Tony, up up the hill there. 
I must say, I've never seen anyone try so hard to learn anything in all my life. You're both doing very well. And how does it feel after your first ride on a horse? I feel like the horse is riding me. Poor old Tony. Auntie Maureen? Mm-hmm. Will we be able to go fast on our horses? Oh, I should think so. Pretty fast. Faster than a person running? Oh, yes, I think so. Faster than a dog? Hmm, perhaps not faster than a dog. Why? Someone been chasing you? Come on. Who's been chasing you, eh? It was Rotten Fred Matt's guts. Oh, I see. Well, he didn't really chase us. We scared a bird and he jumped out from behind a bush. He did chase us and Matt's guts tried to bite me. Now listen, you must keep away from Fred and his dog. He gets very annoyed with people who interfere with him. He walked past the school today and all the kids yelled out to him. Abby Capanui says Rotten Fred's his friend and he was going to sit Matt's guts onto us. So that's what's been worrying you, is it? Well, you tell young Master Kepanui that he's a liar because Fred hasn't got any friends anywhere. And if Harvey Kepanui gave him any of his cheek, he'd find himself in very big trouble indeed. Japanese craftsmanship. Now, when we were making this Raku pottery, you remember, we taught of Japanese handcraft. Now, Japan has a tradition of craftsmanship. But what else is there in Japan? Andrea? Harvey? Lots of Japanese. <laughs> Anything else? Tony? Batteries. Good. What do they make in them? Cars, trucks, buses, cameras, TVs, radios, and that stuff. You're real smart, aren't you? That's enough, Kapanui. That's a good boy, Tony. Now then. I want you to all try and think of what other manufactured goods are made in Japan. Write a list down and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay? Well, here you go. Oh, yes. Try and think of any type of farming kind of in Japan also. enough. What's going on here, Kepanui? We're starting making friends, sir. Look, don't give me that. I won't have any fighting in the school grounds. Now, who started it? It was only a fun fight, sir. All right, I don't want to hear about it. Now, all of you, get off home. Where you go. Ha-ha, <laughs> I beat you. 
You did not anyway, you're a liar. Why? You reckon you knew Rotten Fred? Yeah. yeah. I do. Do not? Wanna bet? Okay, then you go show us. Yeah. Come yeah. on. You'd be too scared. I am not. All right, then we'll go now. Hey, who's coming? What if he's in there? That's what we came here for, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going. What about you then, Four Eyes? I'm okay. Me too. No, you stay and look after the horses. Oh. Uh... You can be our lookout. Okay. Come on, Smarty Pants, let's go see your friend. Oh, I'm not scared to see you, Pickle. What's the matter? He's scared. But he might see us. I thought he was your friend. Don't be so stupid. Well, I'll tell you what, if I go up and knock on the door, will you? I'm not scared. All right, then you go first. We go together. All right, together. Come on. What's the matter, boy, eh? Hey, that good boy. Yeah. All right. I'm done. Tony! You yeah, little devils. What do you think you're up to, eh? I'll show you. Come on, you little blinder. 
Got from Fred's. You'll get cancer. Nah. Boy, what about all those animals? Geez, weird. I thought we were goners. Hey, where's the carving? Here. Fred's an escaped prisoner. He might be a murderer. Yeah, that's why he's hiding out up here. Maybe he's the one that's been killing the sheep. Murderers don't kill sheep. Yeah, why would he want to kill sheep? To stuff them like all the other animals. We should go to the police. We have to be able to keep our secrets. That's right. We should swear an oath. Let's make it a secret society. Again. Yeah, then we can do all sorts of good things, like getting my glasses back. Yeah, we will. We'll get your glasses back. Hey, we haven't done an oath. We'll do it now. Stand up. Put your hands like this. Us three and no one else. Go on, say it. Us, Us three, three and no one, one else. else. Swear. 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 Never to tell our secrets. Never to tell our secrets. Even under torture. Even under torture. To always help other members of the gang. To always help other members of the gang. No matter what. No matter what. To bring the murder of Rotten Fred to justice. And rat scuts. Say it. To, to bring, bring the murderers of Rotten Fred, Fred and rat scuts to justice. justice. There. We haven't got a name. I know. We're the Mad Dog Gang. Yeah. What if somebody breaks the oath? They get caught martialed. And punished. What'll be our first adventure? I know. A good one. What? You'll see. Something nobody's ever done before. Come on. <laughs> Why hasn't anybody done it before? Because it belongs to Grumpy Old Walkie, that's why. Come on. No, you stay and look after the horses. Why do I always have to do the dumb jobs for? Come on. Them, not drop them. 
It's not my fault I haven't got my glasses. Hey, you kids! Uh oh. What are you doing in there? Go on, get out of my office. Hey! God, guys, get the horses! Hey, you! It's my lamb, isn't it? I think so. Uh, you better go and see if they're all right. Uh. It's that horrible rat's guts. Don't say anything, you swore. I'm sorry, darling. There was nothing we could do. By the time we heard the noise, it would have been too late. Up the hill. Won't be a mo. No, no, no. So is too. I came to see. You know what it's all about, don't you, young fella? And what have you two been up to, eh? Oh, he'll tell you. Him and young uh, Harvey Kapanui. Well, you can have a talk to Tony, but I think this little lady'd better come inside. She's had a bit of a bad morning. Yeah, this won't take a minute. Now, you listen to me, young fella. I should give you a good hiding. Now, what do you say to that? Please don't, sir. Oh, don't you think he should be punished? We can tell you who's been killing your sheep. What? Shut up, Zoe. Now you carry on, young lady. It's rotten food and rat's guts. We got proof. Now, how do you know? We went up to Fred's hut and Tony and Harvey went inside. And they said the hut was full of stuffed animals. And they picked a piece of wood that said Mount Eden Jail. And Fred and rat's guts trust us all the way and rat's guts tried to bite us. But that's not proof he's killing the sheep, is it? No, maybe not. I think I'll go and have a talk to Fred anyway. I never did trust that damn dog. Come on, you two. Breakfast. Cup of tea, Bert. Now, go and talk very first. Uh, you never know what to believe with kids. Yeah. So I always thought there was something fishy about that bloke. I think I'll give Daniels a ring. Police records will show whether he's done time or not. Doesn't mean he's been doing the killing, though, does it? Listen, do you want a hermit ex-convict living next door to you? It's not even his land. He's on his part of the state reserve. <laughs> he's squatting illegally. Well, that's true enough. I'm going to have a word with him. Slow starting, Suey. What's the trouble? I feel a bit sick, sir. Been eating too many apples, eh? No, sir. We do seem to be having a bad day. Suey feeling sick, a brother forgot to bring his glasses, and Harvey kept a new he somehow forgot to bring his trousers. I didn't lose them, sir. Mum's just washing them today. By a strange coincidence, somebody handed in a pair last night. Some chewing gum in the pockets, a few cigarette butts. That's why I thought they might be yours. Catch! Oh, 
somebody must have found me while I was having a swim, sir. Do you often go swimming in Mr. Wilkie's orchard? You keep him off my property, because if I lose any more sheep, I'll come up here and I'll blast his head off. You're mad. Don't you call me mad. You're the craziest coot in the whole district. Everybody knows it. And they're sick of you and your murdering mongrel. That dog does not kill sheep. I've heard that before. Now, why don't you keep the thing chained up, eh? No need. Yeah, well, if I catch him on my property, I'll put a bullet through him. Keep it out, go on. I'll catch you here again, I'll put a bullet through you. But don't you threaten me. I can have you run out of this valley, and don't you forget it. You broke the first law of the Mad Dog Gang. You swore to keep your secrets, no matter what. Rat Scats killed my lamb. And she was also trying to save another member of the gang. She still broke the law. She must be punished. That's not fair. Let's make it a small one because of the lamb. Oh, all right then. But she has to miss out on one adventure. Not fair. It's just to get my glasses. Then we'll be straight back. What about the orchard? If it wasn't for me, you would have got caught. Come on, Tony. Won't be long. Anyway, I'll find my own heart and you won't be allowed in it. Huh. Keep your head down. Come on, let's go. Hey, here's your glasses. Come on. Come on, let's go. Bradshaw was found guilty in the Auckland Supreme Court today of manslaughter. home in this amount of time. Come on, we'll look in the bush.
Oh, I bet she's already at home. And if she is, we'll look pretty silly looking for her. We'd look even sillier if we went home and she was lost. Come on. So Where'd you get that, eh? Well, I don't hurt you. Just want to know where you got it from. Oh, it's, uh, no need to cry. Nor stay. Eh? What are you doing in the bush on your own, anyway? Eh? On an adventure, sir. Where the other two? Don't know, sir. Give me the carving. I'm sorry, Mr. Fred, sir. Why'd you steal it, eh? We were frightened. Like you are now. Yes, sir. You think I'm gonna eat you? No, sir. on account of this. Were you really in prison, sir? Yeah, that's where I made it. I'm gonna be in for it, boy. We should never have left her on her own. And it could take weeks to find her. She could starve to death. Look! Quick, let's hide! No! Look! Look out, Sue! Tony, Harvey, look! Rats got to my friend! Say! Say! Tony! There. <laughs> Stick your hand in his mouth. Go on. Hold. There. He's all right, isn't he? I'm sorry we stole your carving, sir. We only did it to help us get away. We thought you were going to shoot us. We thought it was a, sort of a flag for a mad dog gang. The mad dog gang tell Wilkie I was killing his sheep. It was because my lamb got killed. And Mr. Wilkie was going to give Tony a hiding. And with all those stuffed animals in your hut, we thought... So... You thought my dog was stealing sheep and other animals for me to hang up in the hut? No. Found them all dead in a bush. Why would I want to kill them? I don't know, sir. You know what they'll do now, don't you? They'll drive us away out of here. We're sorry, Mr. Fred. I'm sorry I frightened him. That's all right. Go on. Get home. Thank you for saving me. If you want to see inside people's houses, knock on the door. A bit late, aren't you? Sorry, Uncle Eric. I fell off arrow and he ran away. Been up the bush, have you? Yes. yes. Well, I told you two to come straight home. Your auntie's done all your jobs for you today. So tomorrow, you can stay around the house and help her. Oh, and if you'd come back earlier, you could have spoken to your dad. He rang up. Yes, Uncle Eric. How's Mum? Is she all right? Oh, she's OK. She had the operation this afternoon. She's all right. But it'll be a while before she's on her feet. Your dad was sorry he missed you. And don't you forget, job's all day tomorrow. It's not fair. We couldn't help being late, and we told the truth. Yeah, but we didn't tell them about Fred. That's different. That's a gang secret. Is the monster that chased me a gang secret too? Stupid! 
It's true. I fell down a bank and there was this cave. A monster roared at me and I ran away. Harvey believes me. He does not. Anyway, you didn't see it, did you? the cave when I heard the monster. See, it's got blood on it. Yeah. See, I told you. Maybe it's the killer. Why don't we tell Fred? He can't. We're not allowed out. Listen. Again. Let's go see. My best ram. Do you know I had it penned up? And that damn dog went over the top and got stuck into it. What makes you think it was Fred's dog? I saw it with the teeth in the ram. Now that's good enough for me. Then why didn't you shoot it there and then? That ram's worth over a couple of hundred dollars. Anyway, it was getting dark. I took a shot as it ran off. I must have missed. I should have shot that damn dog when I was up at Fred's yesterday. You know that old goat threatened me? What? Fred? Yeah, he threatened to shoot me if I didn't get out. He's dangerous. Are you sure? He said it to my face. That suits me. If he wants to use guns, we'll do it that way. We'll shoot the dog. And we'll send Fred on his way. But you can't do that. Nope. Bring Sergeant Daniels. The police? What will they do? Nothing. Now, we'll get a group and we'll go up together. You won't be able to stop us. We've got to get Harvey and you and Fred. Come on. Not me. Maybe Rat's Guts is the killer. But if you go up there with guns, count me out. Get the law. The law be damned. I'm going to get Bob Stokes and a few others, and we're going up there right now. We don't need you. What's the matter with Bert? Uh, he's all steamed up. He's just lost his prize ram. That temper of his is going to cause a lot of trouble one day. Yeah, and today might be the day. I think I'd better ring Sergeant Daniels. Come on, Bob. <coughs> I, uh, I thought we might go and give old Fred a hurry up. enough to do something silly. And he's got his gun with him. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold on. He said he was going to get a whole gang and do just what Fred said. Come on, so we might get there before him. <laughs> yeah, I'll be down as fast as I can. OK? Right. And make sure those kids stay home too. We don't want them out in the bush now. Not far, we'll tie the horses up behind the trees so Wilkie won't find them. What happens if he's already there? I don't know. Yeah. All right, all right, that's enough. Come on, let's go and finish him. Right, oh, I'm sick of the old buzzer hanging around. Let's finish him now. You coming? I'm coming. I reckon a lot of people in the district will be happier when this little job's done. Hey, come on, mate. Try. Help. Should be enough of us. Right. 
Come on, Nero, nearly there. Old Fred's not gonna stand by and watch, you know. Now yeah, you've got a leg to stand on. A dog of it is a killer. He's a bit of a weirdo, and he can get nasty. Oh, yeah? When it comes to that, there's only one of them. I'm sick of all! Come on, come on! Say, and then tell me. Mr. Wilkins said he saw Rat Scout's killer's prize ram and he's coming here. He said that you were going to shoot him and now he's going to settle it with a gun and he's bringing a whole gang. I see. So, now they come. Well, ain't you gonna do something? What do you think I should do? You've got to get away. He'll be here any minute. What would the Mad Dog Gang do? Get away. You? Right? You? Hide rat guts? Here, boy. Come on. Get in here. Now then, you all get away, I'm gone. Are you going to shoot them? No. I'm just going to stick up for me rights. They wouldn't really shoot rats guts, would they? It's not just the dog they want. Now go on, get home. Go on quickly, go home, all of you. But you might get shot. Go home! Rats, guts. Go! Listen, they're here! Time to get away. Please, Mr. Freud. No. I've always left them alone. I've never done them any harm. I'm not running away now. Off you go. Go on, get home. You all right? Yeah. You? Yep, ready when you are. All right, now I'll take the dog. If there's any trouble, you might have to cover me, all right? Right. Let's, Let's go. go. If there's a gunfight, Fred won't have a chance against that big gang. They'll shoot red scouts. Suey? Can you find that cave? I don't know. Why? The monster! 
Yeah, if we can find the real killer, we might be able to stop them. But it's a monster. Well, why don't we take Red Scats? We can't. Fred's guarding the door. Suey, go talk to Fred. Get him to move away from the door. What do I say? I don't know. You'll think of something. Go on. I don't know what to say. Go on. Come on. Mr. Fred? I thought I told you to get home. Mr. Fred, I'm sorry I got a prick on my leg. Well, take it out at home. Go on, get away quickly. But it hurts, and I can't ride my horse because the boys went without me. Show me. Where is it? Can't find it. Well, it can't be too sore then, can it? Well, go on. Off you get home. Kill a man, did you? Yeah. Now go on, get off with you, get home. Mr. Fred. What? We know where the real killers. It's near where you found me. Okay, Fred, come on, we want that dog. Get off with you. I told you before. Go on, clear off, will you? Get home at once. Okay. I lost my best friend last night. And last week I lost eight sheep. Bob lost four. And all because of your dog. All right, Wilkie, you clear out of it. We got him. What are you going to do now, okay? Now listen, don't cause trouble. Now we want that dog, so bring it out. You're not going to touch him. Didn't stop wasting time, Fred. I saw it last night with my own eyes. Trouble with Wilkie's time before. He hasn't been drinking, has he? A bit early. But he's just lost his best ram. He's likely to do anything. How fast are we going? Can you get a bit more out of it? Our speed has busted. We must be doing about 60. Well, I won't give you a ticket. This type of thing isn't called with bits. Right, this old girl. Ah, she's got a lot in there yet. Good. Smoke too soon. Remind me to pick that up on the way back, will you? Listen, we don't want any trouble. 
You bring that dog out where we can see it, and you can do the job yourself. I've warned you once. Now clear off. Are we not leaving until this job is finished? Over and done with. For good. I told you he's not a killer. And I told you to clear out. Now don't come any closer. Next one won't miss. Get away. He tried to kill me. He's mad. But you're breaking the law, Fred. Hey, Eric, Daniel, get down. He's off his head. He's shooting at us. All right, you lot. Over here. You listen to me, Daniels. That dog's a killer. I saw it with my own eyes last night. That doesn't give you or your mates any right to take the law into your own hands. Now put your guns down. Now! All of you, guns on the ground. You too, Fred. Come on, Fred, the others have put theirs away. Now put it down. Properly, right down on the ground, come on. Right, now stand up, you look like a couple of kids. Come on, on your feet. He's mad. He tried to kill me. He was shooting at us. It's a pity he missed. I'll lock you all up if you're not careful. I gave plenty of warning. They threatened me. They tried to kill me, dog. We've got to sort it out sometime, Fred. Come on, get the dog. Don't listen to him, he's hiding That's up. enough! Well, where is he? I don't know. He must have gone off with the kids. The kids? Tony and Suey. Come on, come on. Let's stay on the slide. The little girl, little Suey. She said something. About the real killer. Near where I found her yesterday. Do you know how to get there again? Wait. Come on, mate. Scats this way. Over that way. Right, we better hurry. You men come too. Get your guns and spread out. You worry. I'm coming. I want that dog. You catch my dog, Wilkie. I'll catch the dog. We've got to find the children. My granny told me how to get rid of monsters. Come on. Ah! Yeah. It was 
here. I found them. They can't be far away. Try over there. Look after the kids, Fred. Here, I know this dog. His name's Tiger. He used to be one of your pig dogs. He went bush on you. I've never seen him before. Look at this. Yeah, and there's only one man I know who tie a wire collar around his neck. You deserve everything you've got, Bert. Well, you can bury him. But I haven't got a spade. Well, dig it with your hand. And you lot can help him. Come on, Eric. You heard the man. Let's dig. Good boy. Is he going to be all right? Yes, I think it'll be all right. Dog OK, Fred? He'll be OK. Are you going to shoot him too? No. It's thanks to you three that everything's okay. Come on. 
Let's all go home. Come on, we'll, we'll take you home. How it's boring now, eh? Yeah, Fred's not scary anymore. Even our Wilkie doesn't growl at us. Hey, we could go and explore the cave. We're not allowed to. Yeah, but we can go see Fred. We can see rat's guts. Come on, let's go. Come on, Suey. <sighs> to the mad dog gang, thank you for what you have done. But for me and Rat's guts, it's too late. So we've gone somewhere where we can be on our own again. My goods and animals are yours, and the hut will make a good hideout. The flag is on the door. I don't need it anymore, Fred. Wow. Yahoo! Life used to be so simple, you and me. 